Hey everyone, this is the study Las Vegas Stadium Sites Traffic Assessment. This is the actual study that is the foundation for the news bombshell that has hit the Nevada legislature, the assembly, and observers like, well, a nuke. And here we go. Summary of findings. This is done by Nevada Department of Transportation along with CH2M, used to be CH2M Hill when I was in planning school, October 4th. Get that October 4th of 2016. This was just released today, and today is October 13th. Got that? Okay, now, uh, what's interesting is that okay, summary of findings first purpose a major development like an NFL stadium will have regional transportation implications, which should be approached proactively rather than reactively. Our goal, to determine the high level range of state highway improvements needed that can support a new stadium as well as future regional transportation needs. Answer the question, what projects on state mandated roadways can be considered for acceleration to improve access and mobility to a stadium site? Now that's an important sentence because it doesn't include private Construction, these are state mandated road day, roadways, roadways that were approved by the state that have to be accelerated. This doesn't improve, for example, the pedestrian bridge that the Dell developer is said to have, have to pay for and that no one at this point knows what the cost of will be. So we will continue. They're talking about their approach trip generation, estimate the total number of additional vehicles. Mode choice, predict how attendees are traveling to the event. Traffic assessment, decide what routes people will take the stadium. Determination of traffic effects, understand what roadways may be more constrained than others and the necessary improvements. Two preferred stadium sites shown on the map here. The Russell Road site and the Bally High site, as you are aware. And uh, determine how trips are made. Assess the traffic effects, inventory plan, and program improvements in the stadium site's vicinity. Scroll down. Now, summary of findings. Projects that may be considered for acceleration include additional of, addition of high-occupancy vehicle interchanges on I-15, Harmon Avenue and Hacienda Avenue, I-15 and I-215 operational improvements, including HOV lanes and interchange reconstruction projects, monorail extension to Mandalay Bay, and pedestrian bridge slash walkway extensions to preferred stadium site by others with opportunity for in-dot collaboration on NEPA, preliminary engineering, and right-of-way. That's ROW. All projects are identified from existing plans or programs with some project elements already underway, e.g. planning and NEPA. Okay, next steps. Once a preferred stadium site is selected, follow on studies to comprehensively understand transportation improvement needs as part of the stadium development process include traffic impact analysis, not done. Parking needs analysis, not done. Traffic management plan, not done. Plan for trans transit expansion during special events by others, not done. Let's scroll down. We already went through the summary findings, introduction, overview, purpose, and background. We know about that. Trip generation and mode choice. Let's just go down to recommendations and next steps. Let's go to page 25 just to save the suspense. Go all the way down to page 25 here. There's the page 25. Page 20. That's page 21. Let's see here. Page 22. So other project recommendations. Page 23, project development process. It's a very well done report. Recommendations and next steps. Section two describe how the regional transportation system has, was assessed in light of additional traffic from the stadium sites. Section three outlined a range of potential improvements that may be needed in projects that would be ideal to accelerate to address deficiencies in the state highway system as part of the current menu of plan and program improvements and beyond that list. The next steps described in this section were to assess the likely transportation needs. 
the level of analysis performed in this high level assessment is not adequate to determine a detailed list of improvements needed. Leveraging and accelerating ongoing work from other studies and projects is essential, which means even though with these findings, <laughs> this is not done, they still need more work to do <laughs> to figure out the actual cost beyond what they've reported. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, okay. They are talking about their accomplishments here. And uh, talking about how they work with local agencies and so on. All right. They said they should leverage other improvements here. And uh, and basically, they say that now there are many projects in the pipeline. There may be a need, an opportunity to accelerate needed projects in, on the state highway system. However, the recommendation here is to leverage ongoing projects that are already in the planning stages. There is more than one point two billion in planned program improvements in the affected study areas, Jesus Christ, of the two potential stadium sites. Nearly $25 million in the STIP. $845 million STIP is the, uh, the stadium, the strip area, the main area. Then $845 million in the RTP, the Regional Transportation Plan, and $370 million proposed under... FR Fry two and that I do not know what that means. Okay, I don't know what that's that refers to. So someone else I'm sure does. The main thrust of this section is to provide a set of recommendations for improvement projects that will need to be accelerated to be delivered before or shortly after the stadium's 2019 operating year. Recommendations for advancing projects. The specific recommendations for advancing projects are summarized in Figure 4.1 and described thereafter. 4.1 summary of recommendations for advancing projects and there's the map of the summary of needs monorail extension to Mandalay Bay pedestrian bridge Hacienda Avenue HOV is discussed Harmon Avenue HOV direct access ramp Tropicana interchange improvements and keep in mind these are current projects this is not what you would get after a thorough, complete plan by the admission of, of CH2M, okay? So, and they go about and they list these projects and priorities, and they discuss a number of near-term multimodal improvement projects and says that once a stadium site has been chosen and a, stadium, and a site plan has been developed, several additional steps will be necessary by others as part of the stadium development process, including the traffic impact analysis, the parking needs analysis, and the comprehensive traffic management plan. And see, when those reports are, are done, they're going to call for additional improvements that are not listed here or not costed out here. Keep that in mind. So this is over $900 million. And there are the references, all right? Now, those are the references. The appendix for chip generation. Um, site location there and uh, baseline traffic analysis which is uh, quite detailed and inventory of planned and programmed projects as appendix C okay and they have if you go here and zoom in a bit there and we zoom in more and move this over we have the cost so we've got $215,024 million, $31 million. I wonder if this is added up at the end. Let's see. And construction. And they don't add those up at the end, interestingly. Okay. They don't add those up at the end. That's fascinating. And it's worth sitting down actually to to run through these to actually add them up at the end. So let's see here. Wow, but let's take a look here at what we've got because this is this is something else, folks. We've got 
million dollars completed originally in 2035. Uh, 75 million, 51 million, 30, uh, 6.3 million, 58, 68 million, 120 million, 10 million, 8 million, 4 million, 150 million. Jeez Louise. That is a lot of money. And they're going to back that with this? They gotta be crazy. Ugh. Well, I'll give you the total cost of this at the end. Well, it's about nine hundred million. There you go.